So if you're using the free version of DaVinci Resolve and you want word for word animated subtitles, this one's for you. Let me show you. So this right here is the free version of DaVinci Resolve. And if I hit play, what up folks? It's Alex here. Once again, thank you all for joining me. Thank you for purchasing Magic Subtitle. We have word for word animated subtitles in the free version. Pretty cool, right? This is something I've been working on. But before I actually finish it, I need to know, is this something you will be interested in? Is this something that you free users want? Because there's still a lot of work left to do. So I need you to let me know whether it's worth finishing and whether it's something you would buy. Oh, and by the way, all of the subtitles you're seeing in this very video were generated in the free version of DaVinci Resolve. So they might not be perfect, but hopefully, they're pretty good. So there's a manual mode where you type them in, or there's an SRT mode. Now, SRT files are these subtitle files. They're really common, but usually they're not that accurate, and that is the case, right? So you don't get word for word timing, usually. They usually come in just with the subtitle line times. So if you imagine this sentence that I'm saying now, you get the start and the end of this sentence that I'm saying now. And then the next sentence, this sentence, you get the start and the end of this next sentence. Now that works for just line by line subtitles, but it doesn't work for word by word subtitles. So this is where I've been a little bit sneaky and I think quite clever. I'm proud of this. I think it's pretty cool. Let me switch over to the actual setup and I'll show you what's going on. You see, what I've done is built this word engine. I don't really know what to call it. If we've got the start and the end of a sentence, we know how many words are in that sentence. We can then split that time up and kind of guesstimate when those words were said. Then if you kind of go further and you think about syllables and breaks and punctuation, you can start to get this quite accurate. So let me do an example of manual mode. This only works currently in this one template because we haven't actually built the rest yet. But let's trim this down. I have another big update. I think this is actually the biggest update we've ever... I have another big update. Big update. I think this is actually the biggest update. I think this is actually the biggest update yet. Create subtitles. Hit play. I have another big update. I think this is actually the biggest update we've ever done. Oh, I got the words wrong. We've ever done. Big update. I think this is actually the biggest update we've ever done. Not bad, right? It's pretty close. Now, the cool thing with this, once you've done that, you can stretch this out or lengthen it, kind of change the timing. You can refresh the timing to make sure it kind of fits. But then we can go to configure and all of the other stuff is available. So you can do manual line breaks, so you can actually see what's going on, or we can use our auto break. So then we can put these into different words per sub. We can break a different punctuation. If we've typed the punctuation in, we can even do a write on effect. Update, I think this is actually the biggest. We can change the casing, we can change the font, and all of my style is in here. So you can change the color, you can do highlighted word effects, and eventually all of the built-in magic subtitle templates will work in the exact same way. So you can see where this is going. You can build up your own subtitles, animated word-for-word -word subtitles, in the free version of DaVinci Resolve. Now it gets even smarter when you start to use these SRT files. And there are services and software that you can download which allow you to transcribe your footage using AI completely for free. So what I'm gonna do here is just run off this timeline. So I'm gonna go to the deliver page. We're just gonna do audio only, so it's super quick. I only need this to be an MP3 file. We'll add to the render queue and we'll render this out. Now, while that's rendering out, which won't take a second, there are a bunch of different ways to transcribe clips for free. One of the ones that I found is this software, this app called Vibe. Experience seamless language transcriptions with Vibe, your all-in-one solution for effortless audio and video transcriptions. And you can download it for Windows, it looks like for Mac and for Linux as well, completely for free. Now this is built on the OpenAI, I think it's called Whisper, which is available for free. So 
open AI, the guys that make ChatGPT have made this transcription thing. But if you wanted to, you could actually just go and download the open AI whisper for yourself and then run it that way. This just puts a nice little front end on it. So it's a little bit easier to use. I've already got that installed. So if I open this up, I'm gonna select that MP3 we just made. And then I simply need to hit transcribe. And this is just gonna transcribe that timeline, all of the audio, because we only made it into an MP3, and it's gonna give us an SRT file. These are the spoken words from our timeline. And then in Resolve, I can just open up this new thing that I've made, bordered. I've Again, I've tried to be clever with this. You can put this technically wherever you like, as long as the timeline matches the SRT, which in our case it should. Put this wherever we like, hit SRT, bring in that SRT file. It's gonna pull that in, figure out the position on the timeline, and then make it all just magically work. That the default one, so now the default is sections only, so you won't need to change it. The nice thing with sections only, if you have already made a compound clip, you don't need to change it. And then from here, I can come in and I can make any kind of line break changes to this box. I can change any spelling or kind of change any words. If change it was wrong, I actually wanted it to say something else. I could type in something and that would change. We can then come into configure. Once again, we've got line breaks, we've got write on, we've got cases, we've got punctuation. We can change all of the fonts, all of the text. We can come in, change all of our style and our highlight. So whenever I say the word something, I want this to be blue where everything else is gonna be red. We'll apply that, come back a couple of frames on the timeline and something is blue and everything else is red. Pretty cool, right? Now, everything I've just shown you, as well as loads more, is already available within the Pro version, but as mentioned, that Pro version does need Studio, but this doesn't. So, as I mentioned in the beginning, should I finish this? Do you want it? Let me know. Again, as mentioned, it won't be free. It's an awful lot of work to do this and create scripts and whatever else. But if you want it, let me know, and I'll make it available as soon as I finish updating all the templates and working out a few kinks.